Well, we finally got through the break-in period for the Z1 Motorsports Street Performance Clutch on the Z. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Suggested break-in period is about 500 miles. We've put about 1,136 miles on this clutch. Haven't really beat on the car all that bad since uh, having this thing installed or since reaching that 500 mile point. But I do have some opinions now at this point on how I feel about this clutch. So let's get into it. Well, I don't know what clutch this car had uh, when I first got it. It was some sort of aftermarket one. I'm not even not sure. We, we There's no markings on it. We couldn't tell, but we knew it wasn't factory. Um, the problem I was having was that the clutch engaged really, really close to the force. So it was very annoying to drive. It just it was drivable, but it was just bad. You know, I, I replaced the clutch slave and clutch master, uh, new fluid, and bled it like crazy. It improved slightly, but it didn't resolve the issue. And I knew I wanted to upgrade the clutch anyway, so going with this Z1 um, Street Performance clutch that was kind of the that was kind of the move for me. And obviously, with the partnership with Z1, uh, it just made sense. But now the pedal feels way better. Um, it engages much higher up. Um, I still prefer it to engage lower to the floor than higher up. It's annoying if you're working the clutch pedal up in this region. Uh, so there's just a little bit of play uh, and then the pedal itself feels really, really good. It is a single mass, single mass flywheel. Uh, so it is pretty lightweight, substantially lighter than the factory. Uh, RPM drops pretty quickly, but it's not too fast to where you really gotta be you know, a super stealthy shifter or anything like that. But, you know, the car revs up really nice and quick. Um, and again, you don't have to be like a, a crazy professional driver. It's nothing crazy like that. So it's it's really streetable, fine to drive on the road, um, you know, on your daily commute, nothing too aggressive, nothing too wild or out of the ordinary. Apparently they say it can hold up to 600 horsepower. So uh, that's pretty stout in my opinion, uh, especially to, to still be a streetable clutch. So it's a, a decent little clutch to drive on the street, but to take to the occasional track day, it's probably not gonna let you down. It's gonna hold a little bit of power if you do some bolt downs, you throw a little nitrous at it, it's gonna, gonna, it's, it's gonna hold up for you. People do ask about clutch chatter or flywheel chatter a little bit with the uh, single mass lightweight flywheel. So I'm just gonna give you a little sample here. Was almost no chatter whatsoever when the clutch was fresh and new uh, but it started to develop it a little bit after a couple of hundred miles I would say even from inside the cabin here uh, you can't hear it I'm not sure if the camera could pick it up outside there on that last clip but uh, it's just a little bit of chatter um, nothing again hardly noticeable from inside the car uh, I can notice it a little bit more in the garage but I suppose it's just because you know I'm in a confined space uh, but definitely it's not bothersome whatsoever. Um, doesn't sound like anything too wild or out of the ordinary either. So no big deal. Again, almost none whatsoever after first installation. And then it just developed after a couple hundred miles and it hasn't changed since. Can you hear it now? Nah. So I, again, I just went ahead and got the complete clutch kit from Z1. I believe it's called the Street Performance or Performance Street Kit. The complete kit, I think, is just shy of a thousand dollars. It's like 900 and something. I'll put it on the screen here if I can remember. Uh, but I'd recommend replacing a few other pieces too while you're in there. Um, I had the clutch kit installed by Ultimate Motorsports and Racing here in Greenville, South Carolina. If I was thinking at the time, I would have done a trans mount as well because I think that needs to be replaced and that would have just made sense to have that trans mount uh, replaced uh, while the transmission was out. Now we're gonna go in and do it again. Uh, maybe would have done motor mounts and stuff as well. Uh, but a couple of things I would certainly suggest uh, replacing while you're in there. Clutch master and slave, get both of those done. Uh, you can get the uh, uh, braided line as well um, with the heat shielding. A lot of that, all that stuff makes sense. Uh, throw out bearing as well and the uh, clutch fork. The 03, maybe 04 Zs had the uh, steel clutch fork, and they've been known to bend, actually. Uh, the newer models had the upgraded clutch fork, so you might not need that, but I went ahead and replaced it as well. If you're mechanically inclined and you have enough room in your garage or shop, you can probably do this installation on the clutch kit yourself. 
Uh, it's a little intensive. These cars are low and you need some clearance to get the transmission out yourself, uh, but it's doable. Uh, I chose to, again, to have Ultimate Motorsports and Racing do it for me. Uh, just time constraints and not wanting to mess with it in the garage on my own. Um, it just made the most sense. And uh, Tyler at UMR was able to get it done for me at a good price. But I would say uh, any decent sort of independent shop is gonna charge you 700 to 12 or $1,300 to replace a clutch like this. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's sort of kind of the norm um, that I've seen around or people have talked about. So you can, you can take it on on your own or ha have a shop do it. Now, by no means am I saying this is like the best performance clutch out there available, but uh, as Tyler said on my installation video that he's done a number of these, uh, they seem to be decent quality and uh, no complaints from anybody. Again, they can hold up around five or 600 horsepower or something like that. Very, very streetable clutch, but you can take it to a track day autocross event and you're not gonna have any problems with it. Uh, throw a little nitrous at it, full bolt down, so you should be, should be fine. I think for the price point and the quality that you get, and obviously the support from Z1 Motorsports, this kind of just makes sense. Again, there's higher quality ones out there, a little bit higher dollar ones, but there's certainly cheaper and crappier ones out there as well. So stay away from those. Uh, if you're looking for a good bang for your buck clutch kit, performance clutch for your 350Z, definitely look at the Z1 package. And they have some variations as well, some things that you can... Uh, you can mix and match in those kits as well. If you want like the six puck, you know, high pressure, pressure, friction plate, um, uh, you can go that route too. And, and maybe I actually would have done the six puck uh, myself. It's a little bit more aggressive. And from what I hear, they really want to grab. Um, but, you know, I knew I was going to be driving this thing on the street and we just kind of wanted to, I kind of wanted to install and review a kit that a majority of people would pursue. So again, there's a couple of variations, a couple of different things you can mix and match in the kit. Uh, just take a look, see what uh, best suits you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get to them as quickly as I possibly can. Obviously, reach out to Z1 Motorsports if you have any questions. They're going to have more information than I will. Um, but hopefully this provides you just a little bit of insight uh, for this kit. But overall, really pleased with the, the uh, Z1 Motorsports uh, Street Performance Clutch Kit. Uh, really good pedal feel, soft at the very beginning, but it starts to, to wear in and actually get firmed up a little bit. So it uh, feels really good, uh, bites really, really nicely, uh, comfortable driving on the street, but you can definitely tell that the performance is there. So no complaints on my part, looking forward to putting some more uh, putting some more miles on this thing and, and starting to beat on a little bit, see what, we can, see what we can get this car to do. Lots of stuff coming for the 350Z, some stuff coming for the Q50 as well. We got the Traction Concepts LSD conversion kit going in here shortly. So hope you guys will stick around. Uh, if you're interested in just Nissan Infinity content in general, uh, please follow along. Hit the little subscribe button. Hit the bell notification as well. Appreciate the continued support, guys. More stuff coming for the channel. Uh, looking forward to uh, seeing you in the next video. See ya.